Straddling the deep waters of the Atlantic and the warm shallows of the Gulf of Mexico, the Florida Keys are strung together by the Overseas Highway, an engineering marvel which arcs across 44 of the archipelago's 1,700 keys. There's a saying in the Keys that for every mile traveled down the overseas highway, the real world gets left further behind. After the one hour drive from Miami, celebrate your arrival at the Upper Keys by kicking back at the Caribbean Club the setting for the Bogart and Bacall movie classic, Key Largo. From Key Largo, follow the mile markers down to Plantation Key, the sleepy gateway to Isla Morada, a 20-mile stretch of six keys known as the sport fishing capital of the world. At Windley Key Fossil Reef Geological State Park, follow the hammock trails to quarries where a century ago, laborers cut great blocks of coral for Henley Flagler's Overseas Railroad. Nearby, at the Keys History and Discovery Center, learn more about this incredible railway which ran all the way to Key West until it was forever derailed by the 1935 storm of the century. Hurricanes have played a recurring role in the Keys history. Pride of place at the Discovery Center are incredible artifacts salvaged from the ill-fated Spanish fleet of 1733, whose treasures were blown across an 80-mile stretch of Keys coastline. Clear waters, rich marine life, and the lure of sunken gold have long made the Keys a magnet for divers. While you're in Isla Morada, be sure to drop into the History of Diving Museum, which celebrates humankind's never-ending quest to explore a world that's even less well-mapped than the moon. Isla Morada offers treasures far more accessible than the Spanish galleons which line the coast. You'll find it in the liquid gold creations of Florida Keys Brewing Company and in the golden flame of the artisan's torch at Rain Barrel Village. It's in the sun-kissed salsa which graces the catch of the day and in the silver flashes of hungry tarpon at Robbie's Marina. But most of all, it's in the stiffening breeze which shapes the evening clouds and carries the promise of even more adventures. From Isla Morada, leave the upper keys behind and begin your middle key wanderings amid the gumbo limbo, crabwood, and mangroves of Long Key State Park. A few miles south, in Marathon, top up your tank with a lobster reuben. Then make tracks to Crane Point Hammock, where you'll find 64 acres of trails, historic sites, and a nature center that helps the Keys' injured birds find their wild wings again. The spirit of conservation continues just down the highway at Marathon's Turtle Hospital, which specializes in the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of some of the Key's most chilled out visitors. When you're ready to continue your migration south, cross the breathtaking seven mile bridge to the Lower Keys. Pull over at Bahia Honda State Park, where a five-minute rest stop can easily melt into five hours of bliss.
After drying off, head to the end of the Overseas Highway to Key West. Known to fun-loving locals as the capital of the Conch Republic, Key West is more than just a stunning destination. It's another state of mind. Key West's seven square miles are flat, so swap out the rental car for flip-flops and head for Duval Street which runs right through the heart of the old town. Start at the street's northern end at Mallory Square, where cruise ship day trippers fan out into the city with margaritas on their minds. Follow Duval South along a pastel streetscape where the architectural styles of the Bahamas and Spain rub shoulders above the passing parade of souvenir shoppers and bar hoppers. At Duval Street's southern end, wade into the waters of South Beach, where Tennessee Williams took his morning swims during his 34-year stay. Storytellers have long been lured by Key West's freewheeling spirit, and no writer embraced that spirit more than Ernest Hemingway. Just a block off Duval Street, call into Hemingway House, where the Pulitzer and Nobel Prize winning author spent some of his happiest and most productive years. Right across the street, climb the stairs of the Key West Lighthouse, which often guided the writer home after a long night of carousing. Key West has also been a favorite with presidents. Down by the waterfront, look for the pearly walls of the Little White House, the winter headquarters of President Harry S. Truman. Just up the street, be dazzled by Spanish gold, silver, and emeralds in the Mel Fisher Maritime Museum. Named after the treasure hunter who scoured the seafloor for 16 long years before finding the wreck of the legendary galleon, the Atocha. could spend days exploring Key West's architectural, historic, and creative treasures. But as often happens in the Keys, it's Mother Nature who steals the show. Dive into the Key West Echo Discovery Museum and learn the secrets of Florida's rich undersea and intertidal worlds. Then head to the historic seaport, raise the mainsail, and head off for an afternoon of snorkeling on North America's only living reef. The road may end in Key West, but the Keys continue for a further 70 miles to Dry Tortugas National Park. Take the two-hour cruise or treat yourself to a 40-minute seaplane flight and step ashore at one of the USA's most spectacular national parks. Spend the day exploring the casements and parade grounds of Fort Jefferson, whose 16 million bricks were all shipped from the mainland. Then pull on your face mask and snorkel in some of the clearest, most pristine waters on the planet. sun and sea spray can make a person thirsty. So after a day on the high seas, tie up back at Key West and wet your whistle on a rum tasting tour or in a mojito making class. If free flowing cerveza is more your thing, just follow the sounds of good music and laughter to iconic watering holes like the Green Parrot a favorite with locals and blow-ins for over 125 years. But there's no greater show in Key West, no better time to be had than at Mallory Square at dusk. This is where it all comes together. The characters, the music, the flavors of the Keys. 
As the sun hangs above the horizon like a molten Spanish doubloon, bathing every face with its golden glow, a spirit is shared by all. It's a spirit which says, look at us, we've made it. We escaped the real world and found paradise.